U.S. China relations are hitting a new low with the order from China for the U.S. to close its consulate in Chengdu. It's retaliation. They said that outright for the U.S. decision earlier in the week to force the closure of China's consulate general in Houston. So as far as diplomatic relations between two global powers go, we're heading into uncharted territory. The American flag was lowered just after dawn, and that signaled an end to 35 years of the U.S. being in this part of China. American diplomats in Chengdu were given 72 hours notice to clear out of the consulate. Over the weekend, trucks carried off documents. Plaques and insignia were peeled from walls. And at 10 a.m. local time, Chinese police and officials entered the building to take control of it. Closing the U.S. consulate here was China's retaliation for the U.S. shutting down the Consulate General of China in Houston last week. Even before the State Department confirmed that it had served notice to China, there was wide-scale document burning in the courtyard of the Houston consulate, a place the State Department called a hub for Chinese intelligence operations. It's no secret that tension between the two countries has been ramping up for months on everything from the ongoing trade war to Huawei to Hong Kong to accusations over the coronavirus. But the consulate closures and the accusations flying on both sides brings relations to a new low. The world's two biggest economies forcing each other to close consulates? Those are big diplomatic moves that aren't easy to walk back. Mistrust now is running deep. Here in Chengdu, the anticipation became an event. Police blocked off streets today to keep people away as the deadline approached. Crowds have gathered around here for days, watching, waiting to see this final American departure. Another sign that decades of diplomacy appear to be unraveling. People, for the most part, just wanted to see a bit of history. This man says that the U.S. started this, but that it's the people in both countries who are the real victims. Once the consulate was officially in Chinese control, people scrambled to see it and to take selfies. There was no applause for the American departure. This guy showed off a shirt. And pro-China supporters were escorted away, like this guy praising the Communist Party. Mostly people were curious. This former U.S. consulate, a sort of front row seat to a bigger political showdown, as work crews began covering over any hint that America was here. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.